Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I want to talk about Doorway Online. Now Doorway Online is a website that contains lots of good quality activities that develop numeracy and literacy skills. It's free to use, it requires no sign in and there are no adverts to be distracted by. The part of this website that I want to focus on today is the touch typing app. Now there is a series of activities for two-handed touch typists as well as, as well as a set of activities for one-handed touch typists. Now I will be concentrating, and here they are on the screen as I scroll down, and I will be concentrating on the two-handed touch typing. Now once you start the touch typing app for two-handed typists, you will then have a choice between let me just press enter, text type, practice keyboard with speech, and text type with speech. Now text type and text type with speech are a set of 56 exercises that take you from the basic skills of a touch typist all the way through to an advanced touch typist. The difference between these two options is that one has speech support. The next letter is spoken by, or the next letter to type is spoken by a voice. Practice Keyboard allows a user to hear, to hear the letter key that they have pressed. Now I want to concentrate on the text type with speech. So let's go into that. So I select text type with speech and press next. At the bottom of the screen there are some customization choices to make and on this page if you want to change the look of the web page by doing these customizations then do these first. And so what we have and the choices are keyboard style, highlight colour and indicator style. The keyboard style shows a black letter on a grey background, background, a white character on a black background and a bold black character on a grey background. This relates to the colour of the keys on the on-screen keyboard and you'll see all of this when we, when we actually start the exercise. The highlight colour or the highlight style relates to how the next letter to be typed will be highlighted on the page. The letters can be highlighted in green, red or blue. Finally, the indicator style relates to a strip at the top of the screen which shows the letters to be typed and these letters can be green on a white background, green on a black background or black on a white background. Once you have selected those, and let me just choose um, a few of these, once you have selected those you can choose do not echo correct key presses. Now as well as using a voice to prompt you as to which letter to press next, the software also repeats the name of the letter you have pressed. And at times, if you're a fairly good typist, this can be really annoying. So this option allows you to turn that function off for correct letter presses. So for instance, if the touch typing exercise says you've got to press K, and then you press K, it won't then repeat the letter sound. Now the final option at the bottom of this web page to select is to allow for line skipping which is a faster way of moving through the exercises that you're presented with. Okay so let's go on to the top half of the web page. These are the 56 exercises that I mentioned earlier starting with the home keys which is exercise 1 and 2 and finishing on page 2 and you can see that I'm using 
the right and left arrows at the top of the screen to navigate between the exercises and it ends with a whole set of quotations that needed to be typed out. Now as soon as we select one of these exercises the exercise page appears and you can see that in terms of the colours that I selected they are all there. And so at the top of the screen is the name of the exercise that you selected and then you have here is like a progress report this is telling me that I'm on line one of ten lines within this exercise and then next to that on the top right hand side is my score which I haven't obviously I haven't got one because I haven't started now below this you've got your full QWERTY keyboard and you can see the, the first letter on the keyboard that they want you to type is highlighted and sorry this is the letter strip up here so this is the pattern of letters that you need to type and you can see that the next letter to press is highlighted in red which I wanted to practice which I which is how I wanted it set up and as I just said it's also highlighted on the QWERTY keyboard itself and finally you've got a pair of hands and the finger that you use to press the letter, in this case letter A, is also highlighted in red. So let's see if we can get the voice to... you can hear the voice. Hopefully you can hear the voice, it's a, a lovely Scottish accent and hopefully you can also hear that the voice only repeats the letter if I press the incorrect letter. So it prompts me to press the letter A, if I press the letter A we don't hear anything else but the next letter to be spoken but if I hear, if I press the wrong letter it will prompt me with the same letter again. That's a bit complicated to describe, but I think you can see it on the video itself in front of me. And just down here we've got some more options here. This is our skipping a line. So it means I can move to line 2 if I think that the, ac the activities in line 1 are too simple. And then we've also got here we can take the score on and off. And you can see as I, un as I uncheck the box the score up here disappears. I can get rid of the keyboard and that disappears and I can get rid of the hands as well. So it's lovely because there's plenty of ways that we can modify it to get more or less support if we need it. And that's it. As I said, there are a set of 56 exercises on this website, so it's very, very thorough. The shame is that because you can't log in and log out, you actually can't keep a record of your progress within the website itself. So if you do go on it frequently you kind of have to write down somewhere else where you got to when you finished the last time you were practicing. But let me know your thoughts. Have you tried this touch typing website? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.